I think I've always been in love with baseball, and I love proving people wrong, showing them what girls can do. Oh my gosh, this little girl's going to carry the torch for us. We're going to have another league of our own. Not a girl. She's legit. She's the real deal, whether it's boy or girl. She's not just a girl playing baseball for the look of it. She's a girl playing baseball because she loves the game. She will be the Otani of women's baseball. For me, no days off is getting better every day and like pushing myself to be the best. My name is Ashlyn Jolliker. I'm 13 years old and I'm a baseball player. And this is No Days Off. I grew up in Whippy, Ontario, Canada. I remember when I was little, I was always at a baseball field because both of my brothers played baseball. So I would always practice like during the games. See my brothers play it made me want to play it more. One time a coach like moved in his players like as much as he could and then I remember that game I got a double and a home run. I love proving people wrong, like showing them what girls can do. A few years ago when I was like eight or nine, there's this diving play drill that my mom was recording. Somebody took them and sent them to me and I've never been so thrilled to see that little thing. It was magnificent. And that video went really viral, like everyone saw it. I remember there was a bunch of people that wanted to interview me. I remember that the Blue Jays invited me to a game and like I got to meet a bunch of the players like Vladdy, Danny Jansen, Bo Bichette. I've got to get to know some MLB players, which is really cool. I've always been motivated to get better, but it was really cool looking up to all these people that I've met. There you go. The first time I came to California, I was 10 years old. I loved it here, especially because when I left, it was getting cold. A friend introduced me to Coach Andrew. I had no idea who she was. She just said she played baseball, she was from Canada, and she wanted a lesson. I said, yeah, good. My first impression of Ashton was that she was super attentive to what I was saying, excited to show me what she was able to do. And from the get-go, the adjustments she was able to make I knew that she was something special. Not a girl. That's you. What makes Coach Andrew a great coach is that he's really tough and he pushes me to be my best. Let it happen nice and easy. All right, so just a typical day for Ashlyn. You know, she gets after it, whether it's infield, catching, pitching, hitting, she does it all. She's kind of a perfectionist in, in the best way possible. She's really focusing on what she's doing, and not to be cliche, but a coach's dream. There she is, come on. Get it? Good job. It's good to play every position. When you get older, you might have to switch because this team needs a shortstop or this team needs a pitcher. So you always have to know how to play all positions. I've been working on throwing righty and lefty for pitching. I've gotten really good at it. I just need to get better. Oh, baby. Good. When it comes to her skill set, it's it's right there with everybody at her age. She's definitely the higher end. And then when it comes to her IQ and her eagerness to improve, I think it exceeds most boys her age. She's very mature as a player. All right. Yeah. You good. Yeah. All right, good job. I went to Cooperstown with an all-girls team named Ball Girls that Coach Alley put together and is a really good team. We started just thinking it would be a great opportunity for the girls to get out there as an all-girls team playing against all boys. So when our girls actually got there, we realized we were one team of all girls against 71 other teams of all boys. Not one girl on any other team. I was hoping to hit like three home runs in Cooperstown, but I ended up hitting eight. And I also pitched, it was like a one run game or a no runs, like shutout. I remember I pitched a complete game and there was like a bunch of people there. It was like the best, I will never forget that. 
Cooperstown was a dream experience. It's it's hard to describe in just a few words, but just magic. I mean, we had people lining our fields at first to see if the girls were actually good. And then once Ashland came up and hit the first home run, it was over. So magical to see over 600 people watch our 11 p.m. game. So that was pretty special. And I don't know if that'll ever be replicated. That was an amazing experience. I kind of felt like I was playing in the big leagues. It was so fun. I wish I could go back. For them to place 13th out of 72 teams and earn the respect they did, Cooperstown was just kind of a big kick open of the door to what could possibly come. Mabel Blair played for the first women's professional baseball league. It was really long ago, but it was really cool because there's like a movie about it, a league of their own, and it's based off her and like all the girls that played there. Hey, you. Hi. Look at you. You've grown a 19 feet already. Yeah. My God, I think you're taller than I am. Aren't you? Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, Ashlyn, you are. I love getting to see my love Blair, and she gives me really good advice. The main thing for, I want you to do is practice, practice, and then practice some more. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. That's, that's the only way to be great. She will be the star in a, a league of their own again. She will be the Otani of women's baseball. That's what she will be if she keeps dedicating, because she can do it all. I see Ashlyn 100% being a high school baseball player and earning a spot to play college baseball as well. I mean, I'm gonna be right with her. I'm gonna chase her dream with her. I'm gonna support her dream. And if she wants to play in the big leagues, then let's go ahead and crystal ball that. I don't see why she doesn't have a chance in MLB. She's 13 years old, doing everything she needs to do right. She's training the right way, keeping herself healthy. She could be someone that finds her way into Major League Baseball on the field, and if not, she's got a really big future in possibly coaching or running a professional organization. My baseball dream is to play in the MLB. I know a lot of people say I can, so I'm pretty confident, but I just gotta keep working hard. Thanks to everyone for watching my video. To check out more stories like mine, make sure to like and subscribe.